Hello, welcome to In the Studio with Jesse. Uh, today we will be drawing this cat for the third week. And uh, let's get set up here. So I use the same easel for small paintings as I do for uh, Thursday drawings and, um, and so I'm always switching out my drawing and painting stuff. So um, let me know if you can hear me okay, if um, you're always welcome to, or <laughs> please do let me know if the way I set it up is um, hard to see or hear or anything else. And Making sure stuff seems to be working. Okay. Okay, that looks better. <laughs> Hello, welcome. Good morning. Uh, and doop, doop, doop. good afternoon, I should say. I'm I've started using good morning as a universal greeting, and that's kind of funny. Um so let's see. <laughs> there, there it goes. Hi Sam, welcome. Hi Liz. It's so nice to see you guys. So this again is the cat that um, it's a photograph from a photographer that puts their work on Pixabay. And um, there's a link to that in the description. Um, and I just... I liked especially the shadow over this one eye. That was really what, what sold me on this um, photograph. Um, and let's see. So got a couple different pencils here. And I'm going to go with the 5B again. And... Um, any pencil will work. I started on the first week with a regular old number two pencil. Um, and um, and then I used the 5B last week. Um, my 4B is so short <laughs> that it's getting kind of ridiculous. Um, and um, 5B is just a little bit darker, so that's why I chose that one. So... Um, give me a little comment. Let me know if you can hear me okay. And um, in the meantime, I will just let you know how I always start out um, my day when I'm starting, um, you know, continuing something. And my first step is I was just to kind of close my eyes. This sounds kind of funny when I'm saying it out loud, but I close my eyes and then just try to relax and then just look at it and see it freshly and decide, you know, where do my eyes go? How do I feel about that? Um, you know, what's bothering me? I still don't quite like this ear. I'm going to move that a little bit. And so I'm just taking notes. I'm not actually getting into it yet. Um, this year also, uh, just kind of making it up, I think, um, 
was awkward a little bit. Um, something about the top of the head I want to look at. And then the shape of this cheek. And um, something in here. I feel like there needs to be a dark value right in here. And so these are just sort of visual notes right now. Um, and then this angle. I might look at that some more, what I really want out there. And then, so the next question is, um, like, what's the goal for today? And so I feel like this is getting pretty close to done. Um, last week, instead of working on something really specific, like, okay, let's just really focus in on an eye or a nose or something. You guys were interested in, um, or the, the people that came last week were interested in doing more of an all over um, finessing. And uh, that's more of the way that I generally work anyway. So I thought that was pretty cool. So today it'll be kind of the same thing of picking out what parts really need to be a lot darker what edges should be softer or uh, more defined and just um, kind of finishing this guy up and then maybe giving him some whiskers. So let me know if you have been drawing along or if you're starting today. Uh, either way, absolutely works, uh, but it might change how I talk about things a little bit. And um, here we go. So <laughs> the way I usually do it is I pull up images on this old computer that um, it is so slow. That's its only job. <laughs> and, um, and that's nice because I can zoom in and out and um, things like that. And so, um, so I'm seeing an image on my left, just like you are. Um, here we go. So I mean, keep in mind the things that I want to address, the ears, the edge of the cheek, and like a little bit of, um, balance here. I also really want to get, uh, the depth of this eye since this is what drew me in in the first place and then a little bit of patterning maybe um it has that distinctive uh tabby lines here so um so you can tell i have a mental list but i um I'm very confident that all those things will be addressed today. I don't feel like I need to uh, deal with them uh, in order. But sometimes just making the list is enough to make sure it actually happens. Um, so what I really like about these markings is that they help show the direction of, of the face here. Pretty cool. Hello, welcome. Oh, we are live. I know. That's why I said make that seven. Make that seven. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of people. Oh, <laughs> there's some new comments. I hadn't seen the comments. I, uh, yeah, go sorry, ahead. I'm still setting up everything. No, that's fine. I just, it, it hadn't refreshed the comments. Uh, uh, let's see. Okay, so now that I can see this, I'm going to adjust the move it to the left a little bit comment. There we go. And let me know if that's better. And um, hi, cars, welcome. Yeah. 
There we go. So I'm just going to lightly sketch in this ear a little bit. Like I said, it's still kind of bothering me. Um, and and you know, I uh, I think it's important to just be able to move things around when you don't like how they are. Uh, it's just an important part of the process. Um, yeah. Oh, are you helping me out with the No, I'm just flip? trying something out. Um, test. Cool. Thank you. And so the area of the skin is so narrow before the fur starts coming out. Um, and you know, a lot of times I'll find if if I've taken a photo where something's cropped off that I feel like I really need to see. A lot of times I'll search around and find other photos that have that. I feel like we've got most of the ears here though, um, but. If we just really need this information, I might go hunting, find more some cat ear photos. And let's see, let's soften this up a little bit. Sometimes it's easy for um, the part that's frustrating to end up more dark or crisp <laughs> than other parts because of all the work that goes into those areas. Um, so I'm trying to make sure that doesn't happen. You want to take off those little jingles? Thank you. <laughs> Dozer is doing his patrolling again. And there's something really nice and soft about the top of the head. So use the eraser to try to capture that a little bit, soften this area up. And I'm a huge fan of soft edges. Oh. I'll see, um, I'm still working on getting problems like Sure. And so for anyone who doesn't know me, I am Jessie Rashi. I am an artist in South Dakota. And um, I paint mostly um, portraits and uh, landscapes with lots of animals in them. Um, I love drawing. It's been... Um, just a real fun passion pretty much my whole life as long as I can remember my first official drawing group I was 17 years old and um, we'd get together every week um, and uh, anyways I just think drawing is wonderful and so I went to kind of share the fun <laughs> he is definitely keeping the studio safe uh, but he uh, he's so funny he likes to find like little stacks of paper which um, there are many and then just sort of uh, um, he sort of nests on them where he walks around <laughs> in circles on them for a very long time but uh, I take a lot of notes, uh, so I have color notes and um, little sketches of things I want to paint and all kinds of things, so he likes to walk all around on those. There we go. 
Just one second. really trying to make sure this line across the face the tilt of the face stayed um, consistent so I'm going to lift up this little mark here a teeny bit to make sure that that tilt is still there it's very subtle And this area got a little narrow. So here we are in week three. I'm still doing corrections, but it's getting more and more kind of finished as we go along. So let me know which part of the process you're on and if you want to see um, anything specific, you are always welcome to comment with that. Um, I'll be right back. Okay. And I'm just kind of softening up this back edge. And I am a big fan of um, having the underdrawing show. I think that's just really pretty in drawings. Um, and it's just purely a taste thing. Um, and so I'm leaving some of the little under scribbles there. Um, but yeah, that is just purely style and, um, some people tidy those all up and erase them. And I'm just kind of particular about where exactly I erase them and where I leave them. But um, I don't feel like I need to erase all of them. Um, sort of. So I'm going to try to get that narrowness of the ear skin here. And so um, please note you are invited to uh, comment with um, what you would like to draw next time. If you like doing this drawing that takes several weeks, if you would do something like that again next time, I think that's really fun. Um, I would love to do that. Um, or if you'd like to get back into something a little bit quicker, let me know about that too. I'm just trying to add some uh, some value here to kind of make more sense out of this ear. And um, so I haven't really talked about the light at all, but you can see that the light is kind of shining down. You see it in the eyes. But you also see it in the ear here where um, there's a shadow behind the ear here. But then a little bit of light is coming along the edge. And, okay, cool. So, um, yeah. And so I, I have moved or kind of been shifting my nose around also as it as it goes and I squint down at the photograph and it's really interesting the value of the um, the front of the nose and the top of the nose are so similar so I've been planning to make this line between the two parts a lot more subtle um, but Mom. Yeah. Card says, I'm making the I'm making the nose now because I just noticed that's a little too narrow on mine. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are we doing? Yeah, and I, I think um, the snows is really interesting and tricky because it has so many planes. It's got the front plane. Well, I, I guess just like a human nose, it's got the front plane and then it's got the side planes and this side plane is so much more visible than that side plane. Um, but it's fairly wide and um, and then that feeds right into this area right here. Um, but yeah, getting the shape so you're happy with it um, before the details or um, no. So have you already read Sayus? Uh, no. Sayus says, one thing that I noticed is that the eyeshadow has almost an eyebrow that I think m might need to be a little more eyebrow-like. And Liz says, I have a grumpy cat. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's interesting. So um, these guys, they do have this like little tuft of fur right here that is sort of an eyebrow. I don't know if you'd call it that. Um, but uh, yeah, that's kind of fun. And I'm just putting in some really wiggly furry lines. Um, yeah. And there we go. We've got like a little bit of an eyebrow here. And this side too, there's a little bit of an eyebrow right in here. And you can kind of see right through it. There's a line that comes right through it, but but it's there. You can see those longer hairs. Uh, it's really funny. It adds a lot of character though, having having eyebrows. And let's see. Go. And so as I go along, I'm just finding spots that could use a little bit of um, darker area. And so I've got this real soft edge and then some harder lines right on top of it. And that's kind of fun. It was accidental, but I like it. Uh, and let's see. So I think getting some real value in that eye, some darkness to it. Yep. Will um, be a really good next step. So the pupil here is really dark. I think I'm finally getting to the point where if I dented the paper, I wouldn't mind. Um, I don't feel like I'm moving this particular part around very much more. And otter, 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 otter. <laughs> He's sitting right on you. Uh, yeah. 
One of our dogs has just been extra snuggly this last week. It's I'm not quite sure what's going on with them, but sort of always trying to sit on somebody. Okay, so there's this nice little um, lighter area right above this like dark like eyeliner stuff of the of the cat hair and right there. Dark part in here and then Still trying to see how everything connects up here. And so I probably mentioned we used to have cats, but um, we don't anymore, and uh, so I don't have a cat to go peek at as a <laughs> as an in-person model. Um, so I thought that was <laughs> really funny. You guys did go peek at, at the cat's nose last week. Um, So the edges here on the nose are looking a little darker to me, and then the middle is kind of blending together. So let's see if I can replicate that kind of um, subtlety right here. And I keep, uh, I don't think you can see all the way down below the paper, but every time I um, erase a little piece, I scrub this on the cloth, um, the table covering here to get it fresh and clean again. Liz says, my cat has a tiny body and a large head, and it's on a roof of some building. <laughs> I love it. Uh, these guys all have a story, huh? And there we go. So. Just trying to get some of these the subtlety here. There's a little bit of a, well, I keep squinting to look and see, um, you know, how the colors are shifting, how the values are shifting. And this area of the nose, it looks like there's a highlight right here, but when you squint down, it's very subtle. It's uh, pretty solid. So I'm just basically uh, softening this all up like it's charcoal or something. And so I get the pencil on my eraser and then let's scrub it back so it's a little cleaner. So it started. Liz says, I think it art someone. Okay, cool. Um, 
Yeah, so it started snowing here a couple days ago, and uh, yesterday I think we got five inches of snow. It feels like the middle of winter, and it was just fall a couple days ago. It's so strange. And uh, so any of you that are still in summer or fall, enjoy it a little bit extra for those of us that are getting cold here. <laughs> yeah. Liz corrected. Uh, she meant to say, I think it ate someone. Oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah, mine looks like it, it might have just eaten somebody too. That's funny. Any more? Yeah. Uh, say it says, our tree snapped from the snow. Oh, no. Your tree is so beautiful. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, there's uh, so much snow all over all of the trees around here. Okay, there's um, these little, the whisker dimples that go along here. So I'm gonna darken this part back up a little bit. Kind of a dance, make it a little bit lighter and make it a little darker. And those whisker dimples tell a little bit of a story here. And Got a little bit of a right there. Okay. And Liz says it was a side one, not next to the path. Oh, well, yikes. It's still not fun, but but probably a lot better than, than what I was picturing there. And so, let's see. I'm lining up my pencil with the little dimples for the whiskers to see, you know, what angle they're going at. And on the left, they go ever so slightly up. And on the right, they go ever so slightly down. They just kind of straight out. That's interesting. They're pretty subtle, so I'm just going to put them in here and see how it turns out. And uh, if I don't like them, I'll just erase them right back out of there. So. They look pretty symmetrical, so I'm just going to draw a straight across and then erase the middle. And I need to decide three or four lines. I'm not too concerned with accuracy, I just want to get the right feeling. Put it down a little. No. Yeah. Card says, we don't have snow here yet. But we've had a cold drizzle for days. I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure which I prefer. Mm. <laughs> yeah, rain is so different in different places. Like uh, cold drizzles, not quite as fun as some other rain. Yeah, I have such good memories of being in warm places when it rains and people kind of play outside in the rain um, but then when you're in a cold like uh, where it's just uncomfortable that's no fun there. so I've gone way over so I'm just trying to get them in and get a sense of where those little dimply guys are 
Um, and again, I'm pressing so lightly. Um, it's a pretty soft pencil, it's F5B, so it puts on a decent um, line without having to press too hard, but um, most of this will be erased. I just um, I'm really overshooting so that <laughs> so, so I have everything kind of lined up in the simplest way possible. And put that right there. And it ends right on this line that comes down from his eye. Or her eye. I'm not sure. Let's see. And that. And just this little curve here. Little curve there. And then there's this, like, the cute little muzzle area. There we go. So now for the moment of truth, a little bit of erasing and see if those little dimples uh, are good or not. <laughs> Car says, mainly it makes walking the dog less enjoyable. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. Dog probably doesn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> a lot less fun for the human folk, huh? Uh, although our little guy, um, Dozer, I took him in to get trimmed, and um, he's got super short hair now, <laughs> so I think he's going to need a little sweater or something. Uh, and... That was a while ago, but it just takes so long to grow back, and um, it's uh, you know it's nice for the fall, but now that it's winter, he just looks cold. And it's it's getting this nice kind of soft um, undercoat of of just rubbed in pencil which is kind of fun and uh, so I'm just accentuating that a little bit here and let's see so I want this uh, the little dimples to end right around here and so I'm just going along with my pencil marks while I'm erasing. Um, and let's see what we've got. Soften. So the white part of his muzzle really starts about there. And it doesn't go above the whisker marks, so I'll kind of lightly fill that in. Yeah. Let's see. And the Let's see, so the dimples don't really start, let's see, they start right around there. And on this side, so the white part comes out about like this. Just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to erase these little 
some lines, the extra bits that came up into the, uh, the front part of the muzzle. I have so much little uh, eraser dust on my um, tablecloth here. And that's why it's fun to actually have this old fabric as a tablecloth instead of just empty table. Because <laughs> I can scrub erasers, paintbrushes, and things like that on it. Super useful. Okay, and then this shadow right here is pretty dark. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and get that a little bit darker. And just a little bit of dark shadow right under the, like right around the mouth there. See. And those little dimples, they're so symmetrical. It's um they're um they're just right in line vertically and horizontally. It's kind of cracking me up here. Um good for them. So just erase right down there in the vertical line. And like I said, I'm just kind of testing out. Uh, I think this is a lot of what drawing is, is just, you know, maybe that would be cool. You test it out and uh, if you don't like it, you can erase it or flip your page. And if you do like it, then uh, you found something new and that's really fun. And erase the front part over here. He's going through such a funny phase right here. So awkward with these lines across, but let's see if it pays off. Okay, so end about there <sighs> and let's see I'm gonna get the parts that are in between Wrap around the face a little bit. Card says, I have oh. become a f earlier you read it. Oh, no, I haven't. What is it? Oh, Card says, I've become a fan of needed erasers for their lack of dust and their easy cleanup by family. Oh, yeah. Mom, you love needed erasers, don't you? <laughs> I do love needed erasers. Uh, I really do. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, I'm just using this one because I feel like I started with it. I've sort of committed to it, but, um, and there's something nice about how, um, I'm enjoying how hard it is. So it's just keeping its pointy little shape, but, um, yeah, kneaded erasers are very nice. Sort of a furry quality is starting to appear here. And I think this is a lot of when um, 
for me, at some point in a drawing, it feels like the drawing is kind of doing its own thing. Like it's kind of saying what it wants to do. That's maybe different from anything I had planned. And I think that's when it gets really fun for me. Um, when it's like all these fun little surprises. Um, and so for me, this like sort of, uh, I know that play of these different textures is really fun. So here we go. So let me know what kind of spot you guys are all in, in terms of um, adding some uh, whiskers. If you feel like you're ready to see some whiskery experiments over here. Um, Let's see. I'm trying to get sort of a um, enough color underneath that um, that the whiskers can more or less be left alone if they work out. But um, I think there's a good chance that for me. You know, I'll need to try several times to get some whiskers that I that I really love. Um, and there's such a funny little texture right here, and I'm kind of loving it. But Just this area here where the eraser marks are really kind of showing. Hmm. Add some of that. Car says I'm still. Car says I'm so intimidated by the whiskers. Yeah. Well, why don't I show you some experiments and um, you can see what you think uh, maybe works better or more in line with <laughs> what you'd be interested to try out. Uh, and let's see. This shadow is so fun. And then let's see. This eye got a lot darker than that one. And let's see. I'm gonna make them balance a little bit more again. I like that there's so much more shadow on this eye, but, and I think it can be really neat when the two eyes are treated very differently in a little portrait. Um, but there's, I feel like uh, something is needed here. Some really cool little Flex in the cat's eye that you can kind of see when you stare at it for a really long time. Let's see. Again. And there's that beautiful little highlight right along the bottom. And so subtle. I'm going to try to keep my shadow darker than the rest of the eye here. So I'll go back and do a little erasing. Let's 
let's see. So now there's one one more value in here. And this eraser is super clean. So I'm trying to decide as I go along uh, whether I grab a fresh piece of paper and do some experiments with whiskers or kind of use the ear as a good spot to start experimenting with some different um, whisker, whisker qualities here. kind of get in the eye a little bit more um, value range with and and I just keep looking and trying to get that shape the way that I like it okay and over here this eye I'm gonna darken up this shadow a lot And since the two eyes are really, um, you, know, you can't look at an eye <laughs> next to another eye and not compare them, um, so I'm going to keep sitting back and making sure I'm kind of staying on track with, with them. This eye also has that oh, reflection or something down at the bottom or it doesn't quite look like the edge of the iris. I'm not, I'm not, I think it's just a really light reflection right in here. And This pointy again. And so there's kind of this nice little color shift right in here. What pretty eyes, huh? Okay, so I'm gonna live with that for a little while. Okay, I'm sure this part feels there we go. This part needs to move in a teeny bit. So one way to deal with things that are very symmetrical is to not draw both sides or both both parts that would show the symmetry. And uh, because people, uh, you know, whoever's looking at it will fill it in themselves in a symmetrical way. Says the cat whisker whisker will teach us. <laughs> That's funny. I like it. And all right, I think it's time to do some experimenting. 
So first, I know that I want to get some little fur in these ears. So I'm just going to see how this eraser does. I'm trying to draw a straight line through here. So I'm just kind of learning about um, how much pressure to put on to get a nice mark. Let's see. I might go grab my needed eraser and see. Okay, so there's a certain angle that you can hold the eraser at and uh, make a mark, and it it does it in a nice kind of straight, skinny line. Let's see if I can get that to happen a few more times. Right here, and I'm holding it at about a 45 degree angle from the paper and and if I lean over too far it makes a really wide mark and I think I need to sharpen it quite a bit so I'm using the cloth and just sharpening it like this until I have a really skinny point and um, and I could see pulling out some fine um, uh, sandpaper or a knife or something to really sharpen that down. Let's see. <sighs> Let's see if that will work here. So looks like sharpening is the trick, maybe moving fast, yep. making sure that I'm moving along the line of the edge here and not like up where it's making a wider mark. And okay, so <laughs> feeling like uh, I'm getting more sort of what I'm intending over here. It's kind of funny for the ear, but I'm just kind of using this area to practice marks. Can I try some that are going up a little bit? Okay. And so I'm just going to blend that back out. That was just a experiment there. And Let's see. I still need to do a lot of erasing in here, so I'm not going to put those whiskers in yet. Hmm. I'm wondering if I should get a little bit of background here so the whisker really has somewhere to go. Um, let me know if you guys are putting in any background or if you're letting your kitty float free like mine has been. Let's see. And let's see. I am just going to give it a little try. I'm really laying my pencil down so I get nice, soft, wide marks. And, uh, I don't want to go edge to edge with this little drawing. You know, it's more of a vignette here, I think. But there we go. Just get a little bit of value out here. And, you know, as always, if it, if it doesn't work out, that's what the eraser's for, huh? Kinda 
like that. <laughs> uh, yeah. I kind of even like the left side having this shadow over here. Uh, that's interesting. Just see, I can always erase it again. Oh. So I've just got this kind of scribbly background. Um, I just wanted to test out, um, you know, I've been wondering about this kitty if having some of these edges go into a darker background would be pretty, but also I think having the whisker go into the dark background might be interesting. Um, but uh, you are welcome to um, kind of <laughs> evaluate whether you think that is uh, something you want or not. Um, let's see. And but I'm kind of kind of digging the background at least in some places. I might maybe it doesn't need to quite so many places here. Nope. And that and let's see I'm kind, of, kind of digging this little bit of a background it feels like it takes some of the pressure off of um you know some of these edges that I'm just unsure of and over here I feel like it helped um do a little bit more of a round face here Okay, so I'm going to soften this up just a teeny bit. I'm just kind of rubbing it in. I'm barely pushing with the eraser because I just want to, uh, I want to still see a little bit of the lines, but have it kind of rubbed in just a teeny bit. And I just want, I want the background to be settled a little bit before I erase into it. Have you already read Carson's? Uh, no. Car says, I haven't added any background yet, but I haven't really decided how to handle it yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's kind of where I was at. And so I think I'm just kind of treating this like, like a charcoal drawing or something. I'm, I'm going to put in kind of a soft background and um, just mainly to give those, <laughs> those whiskers something to play against. Um, but, okay, so I'm gonna put in a couple whiskers, but um, I would love to know if you guys wanna keep working on this cat again next week. I feel like there's further we could go with it. Um, but since I've been testing up here, I just want to see if uh, getting that background in has actually done me some good or not. So there, but, but yeah, let me know if you, if you feel like you're done with the kitty or if you want to keep going. Um, and also, if you like this multi-week uh, drawing, or if you'd rather go back to the um, the drawings that we finish in one go. Okay. 
So I'm just kind of taking care of that overflow <laughs> of the uh, whisker dimples there. And, okay, there we go. Moment of truth, I'm just sharpening and sharpening and sharpening. Um, just really trying to get that edge as sharp and clean as possible. Okay, here we go. So for stuff like this, um, I always practice and um, let's see. So there's the one that goes up and I feel like that's gonna end up being really visible. So I'm gonna start with something that maybe won't really be all that noticeable anyways. So get some good practice to start. And it seemed like the most important thing was that the eraser isn't moving so in that sort of way, it's moving exactly along the edge line. So, okay, moment of truth. And... Okay, whisker number one. So, I think a little bit more value in this area would help help that whisker to show up over here more. But not a ton since I think that value is actually pretty good. Here, I'm just going to put in a little bit right there and a little bit more right here since this part's darker. Keep working on the roundness of the space. And let's see. kind of softness up there. Okay, so now it's time to sharpen again. Let me know what you think of this if this is a uh, useful or if this uh, experiment is um, helpful at all. So again, I'm just getting the sharpest edge I can here. And yeah, you can do the same thing with the kneaded eraser, not with the scrubbing of it, but with just pressing it into the sharpest possible line. And okay, so I'm going to try to get this one to curve a little bit down more from somewhere right around here. And, oh. Okay, I feel like, oops, sorry, I'm jiggling the camera there. I feel like that kind of worked, and I'm going to sharpen in between every single one of these. Make sure I get, have it at that 45 degree angle or higher and not, um, if I lay it down anymore, it'll just make a huge wide smudge. So I think it's kind of cute that there are, um, you know, a couple of them really close together right here. So I'm going to try for that sort of thing. What popped up? Oh. Car says, I love doing the multi hoop drawing. I'm definitely going awesome. to have to keep working on this cat more, but if other want, if other people want to do something new, I can work on this on my own time. Yeah, well, um, cool. I've really liked doing the multi week thing too. I think it's a neat, a neat way to do it, so I'm glad you feel that way. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple up higher. And let's see, the whiskers are kind of going down. They're not uh, they're not splayed out so much in a 
you know, they're not perky whiskers. They're like serious kitty whiskers. That's interesting. Uh, there is that one that that's right up here. And we can put our whiskers wherever the heck we want <laughs> and showing whatever kind of, <laughs> whatever we want. Um, but uh, let's see, I'm gonna put one right up here. Down. Make it kind of straight. So now I guess we get to figure out. I'm just gonna put another one kind of where I wanted it and then decide later if I'd like to erase that guy. I think because I was trying to use this hand to go upwards and my hand doesn't really move that way. So, um, and there we go. You gotta go with the, the hand that rotates the way you want it to. <laughs> <laughs> and there's all these tiny little whiskers that are really fun and I think having some of those in there be neat so I'm just gonna get some little guys like especially down from that top lip that's really kind of cute I'm just getting all kinds of crazy here. So I know I'm gonna be um, going back and forth in this area. Um, and now that I've done a couple, I feel a little bit fearless. <laughs> here, I'm gonna get some big ear hairs too. Doesn't really have big ear hairs, but uh, I'm just uh, I'm having fun with these marks. Okay, so in here, some of these I'm not thrilled with, so I'm just going to experiment with um, sort of, it's like the opposite of erasing them out, but <laughs> the same thing, I'm erasing them out with the pencil and, uh, and just see how that goes. So I'm just very lightly going over this area and trying to match the width of the background lines by how much I lay down my pencil. Um, and let's see. So that was really interesting. So for me, what I learned out of that was that, uh, you know, it has a lot to do with the angle, but it also has to do with you know, aligning my hand in a way that it can move the way I want easily, uh, which seems pretty obvious now that I say it out loud, but um, a lot of times it's just easiest to hold the pencil in one hand or, um, you know, from below or above or whatever, and uh, that's not what the mark needs. Oh, cool. So if uh, if nobody objects in the next couple minutes, I'm going to plan to work on the kitty again next week because um, this has been really fun doing kind of a more, uh, I don't know, it's kind of more relaxed doing the same thing over several weeks. Um, uh, otherwise, you are welcome to let me know what you think about that, and um, and if you have um, something that you've been just dying to try drawing. So I'm just really experimenting around here. So I'm using. Um, kind of a nice thick typing paper so it doesn't have much tooth it's really easy to erase but it's also pretty easy to dent so that's why all of my marks except for right around the eyeballs here have been so soft because um, once it dents it doesn't erase in the same way and it doesn't draw in the same way Car says 
I notice that it looks like one whisper is black at the base and returns white like the others further out. Plus, the whispers weren't challenging enough already. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I see what you mean. Oh, that's funny. Huh. I, it almost, he could almost have a, like a twirly mustache there. It's, how oh, funny. You know, I'm not going to personally worry about that at all. But if you tackle that, I would love to see it. I love it when you share your, your photos. That's really fun. And uh, I've been enjoying all of your drawings that you've been sharing lately. Okay, well, um, I think since it's uh, after three already, I am going to call it a day. don't officially have any whiskers on this guy anymore, but I think I did some good experimenting so I know how I want to tackle that next time. And um, I will see you all next week. I am planning to also be back for painting demo, um, doing more portraits, and I have a really big painting that I just started um, where I'm using the water-soluble oils. Um, so that's really interesting. So I'll, um, I'll do some of those uh, demos uh, in the next couple days. Um, and so... Anyways, have a wonderful rest of your week, and um, Contest, thanks. Yay! You're welcome. Thanks for joining. And um, if you liked it, please like. Um, and uh, your comments. Uh, if you're watching it live, I love your comments. And if you're watching it later on, I I do respond to everybody's comments um, uh, when you're not live as well. So cool. Have a great week. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Liz says, oh yeah, I like all of your videos. Hopefully. Aw, thanks so much, Liz. <laughs> I appreciate that. Sarah says bye. Bye, Sarah.